Greetings everyone, welcome back to Honkai Star Rail. So I kind of or I kind of like went into it a little bit. Um yeah, I don't really I I forgot to click record. Which is quite a bit annoying, but a bit of a like a bit like what happened was the fact that actually hold up. Let me do something real quick. I think this will fix it, I think. So what I did was I restarted my game, so it should have reset this the dialogue. Hi. Yeah, so basically, Fu Xuan or whatever the fuck her name is, um, she looked and uh, used some pre some something I forgot what it was called. She's looking to Kafka's like mind, I guess, and uh, yeah, basically she found out something uh, really really sus. Uh, so yeah. So that's what we are going to be doing here. We, we're going to be, uh, you know, the talking with Kafka and finding out what Fu Xuan or whatever the fuck found out. Yeah. You haven't changed a bit. Nope. I'm sorry you have to see me in such a sorry state. Are you all right? Are you hurt? Concerned about me? I'm fine. The Cienjo is always courteous with its captives. Okay. I didn't talk to you on the train because I knew you and I would get to talk alone here. Worth waiting for, don't you think? You seem to have a lot to ask me. Yes. Um, what did uh, Foolish Ron say? Elio said he foresaw three questions, but they would be the same in essence. If I were to hear one of them, I would then tell you the objective of this trip in all its detail. Since you asked one of the three questions, it means everything is going smoothly. Wait, yeah, there's three options on the answer? side. Damn, bro. <laughs> Cienjo's Stellaron problem is not directly linked to us. But if you look at it from Elio's perspective, you can't say the Stellaron hunters are completely innocent. We foresaw all this long ago, but chose to remain indifferent until the time was right for us to get involved. My Minor God. Fu was surprised because she discovered three truths. One, the Stellaron hunters are not enemies of the Sienjo. You know this now, though you refuse to believe it. Uh-huh. Two, someone else brought the Stellaron into the Sienjo and yep. activated it. Who did that, A though? result of both internal unrest and external aggression. Actually, I feel like I know who Traders it is. Traders on the Lafu and enemies from outside. I feel like I know who brought the cellar on here. <laughs> Actually, if I think about it correctly. General. Presumably to inform him of this fact. If it is true, I'm going to not say it. Uh, to, like, you know, avoid spoilers or whatnot. But I feel However, like I know who brought it that's here. That's all the Master Diviner knows. Because Elio withheld key pieces of information from me. He foresaw the Divination Commission using the Matrix of Prescience against me. Uh, to guard yeah, against the Matrix setbacks, of Prescience. He ensured that I knew only what he wanted the Cienjo Alliance to know in this. Oh, shit. <laughs> As for number three, even in their wildest dreams, the Cienjo Alliance could never have guessed it. If the Stellaron Hunters aren't the cause of all this, then why are Blady and I even here? We're here for you. <sighs> Remain silent. I got an achievement from doing Sounds that one. ridiculous, but, doesn't it? Yeah. It's no wonder Fushen doesn't believe it either. But the Matrix of Prescience doesn't lie. The answer is just that bizarre. Stellaron Hunters appearing here. Blady getting arrested. Me being lured to the Matrix of Prescience. It was all to bring you, the Astral Express crew, to the Cienjo. But at the same in time, the why? Chose, why do you want to do this? The power of the hunt is indispensable. And then the hunt is That's probably going to be the next the one we, uh, we get. Had to come to the La Fu <laughs> and achieve something important. For the Cienjo. Which element will the hunt be? You had to establish a connection with the Alliance. Frankly, I feel like it's going to be uh like the wind one. Wind because of the fact that Don Hung is a wind character and he is the hunt. And he was like the first character he got. That's what I feel like, but I don't know. Um And that's why I had to trick you into coming here. 
Okay. I needed you to meet the Lafu's general in person and to help him resolve the Stellaron crisis. I needed the Alliance to owe you a favor that way, in the future, at the most critical moment, the Sienjo will offer you their help. Okay. What do you think? Surprised? Whoa, why are you helping me? You're lying. What is this about? What is the future you're talking <laughs> like about? Like I said, Elio withheld key pieces of information from me. The future holds endless possibilities. Knowing the right thing at the wrong time could spoil all our hard work. This is Elio. I feel like he's going to be a playable character at some point, right? I don't know. There is only one thing I can tell you about the future. In the best and the worst cases, you will eventually have to face Nanook the destruction. And when that time comes, you will need all the help you can get. It will be a brutal struggle of eonic proportions. Proportions okay. that neither you, nor I, nor the Astral Express will ever be able to reach. Vast majority of futures, that's when destiny ends. But, if we follow Elio's plan, there may be a glimmer of hope on the horizon. You know, even eons can be killed. In the meantime, we're going back to Don Hung, right? are we? Uh, kind of the end of the Wafu. Yep. They didn't finish telling us about the propagation. Keep yeah. going. <laughs> Interesting. So, eons can die. Huh. Weird. I thought they were invincible. Why did you think that? <laughs> there is no true invincibility or immortality in the world. Such exaggerations are born of the perspectives of ordinary beings. Nonetheless, Ordinary beings could not have orchestrated the fall of the propagation. That eon was slain at the hands of another eon. I don't understand. Okay. Uh, all eons? Why do they want to fight? You... Are you really from the Xianzhou? Other eons aside, surely you must know the story of Lan and Yaosha. Isn't destroying the eon Yaosha the Alliance's cherished aim? Of course I know. Well, I, I know a little. My mom made me practice with swords all day. I, I didn't really go to school. <laughs> you uneducated piece of shit. <laughs> In that case, let's just change the subject. If you don't know about the feud between the hunt and the abundance, I'm afraid there's just too much to explain. Fine. How's this for a subject? What's in the box? Oh, this... One? Uh, yeah, I casket. knew it was a coffin, More commonly bro. known as a coffin. It's for containing the remains of the deceased. Okay. The deceased? Aren't you a merchant? <laughs> yes, indeed. This is just part of my job. I was asked to deliver this coffin to the Xianzhou. Ah, uh, I'd quite forgotten. For long life species, death is probably a distant concept. Nope. The Cloud Knights spend <laughs> a lot of time on the battlefield. Death is a common occurrence. It's just, we don't put bodies in boxes. Uh, coffins. In the Sienjo, people okay. go to the Hall of Karma okay. and attend the Hall of Karma. and consecrate the names and jade abacuses of the dead. And it's our way of saying goodbye. The Foxians okay. and the Videodora the, the have Foxians, bro. Seriously, bro. What's up? The Foxians. Foxian soldiers place their dead in Star's gifts and then let them drift out into the stars. They call it the returning. And then eventually, the dead people will, like, I don't know, the 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 scars have skip hit a wall or something, and then it'll tilt over. The dead people just fall from the sky. As for the Videodora, <laughs> more mysterious. They say that when a Videodora is the fuck is a Videodora? Has a fatal injury? They turn into an egg that the looks fuck? like a pearl. And when the shell breaks, they come out looking young again. What? My mom calls the Videodora long scions. When I was young, she told me stories of how the Videodora could turn into dragons. Oh. And I don't know if that's oh. true. Oh. That's what a Videodora is. So fucking, uh, Bailu. Only special Videodoras can turn into dragons. What do you know? Silent but deadly speaks. <laughs> Your mother is right. The Vidyadava are long scions. They are descendants of the Eon of Permanence. I was wise, but 
not all, could turn into dragons. The power was a rare inheritance, passed down only to those who could successfully complete numerous rites and challenges. For the inheritor, it was hard to say whether it was a blessing or a curse. Is Don Hung a videographer? Because of the fucking the skin I have, he's based, it's a fucking dragon. Many myths and or like the, the new the character got, no, Don Hung, a fucking dragon. But for some reason, the Eon disappeared among the stars without a trace. Almost as if they had never existed, leaving only their descendants. No, I was I was reading somewhere that like people were saying, you know, uh, March also needs a fucking something like that. I don't know. It's because, you know, Don Hung just freaking um, ascended. Yeah. And people were saying that March about March or something. I, yeah, I don't really remember. <laughs> but, you know. It would be cool to get uh, another march um, and uh yeah i I don't, I don't know what i'm talking about anymore so every life has Whatever. its limit even the eons are not truly immortal and will eventually reach the end of their life let me ask you one more question do you know the person in the coffin yes who is the person in the coffin friend no so, uh, sweetheart? Miss, whatever gave you that impression? The individual in the coffin is neither friend nor relative. We met only once. By chance, I made someone a promise, and so I have to run this errand. Let's leave it at that, shall we? I think we've all had enough rest. We gotta go that way. How the fuck do I get over there? Right over here. Okay. Do -do 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 do Avoid this guy. Hey, yo, you're kind of my way. Bro. Avoid him. Bro. It looks oh. like someone's hurt. Who, who are you? Silent but deadly. Locha, let's charge in together. If we take them out quickly, we can rescue the girl. What happened to us letting you handle it? <laughs> yes. Got two hands. Please, I'll wangle you a prize for your bravery or something when it's all over. Enough. Let's go. Yes. Let's fight. These guys. Okay, I only play with these two guys. Whatever. Auto mode. Don Hung with his uh, lance or his spear. Whatever. Locha is a uh, pretty goaded uh, healer, you know? But I, I, I wanted Locha as well, bro. When Locha and Kafka. But the five star characters I ended up getting is Don Hung and fucking Yu Yu uh, Jing Yuan. I don't know. Jing Yuan. It's a bird. I did it. That's just how good I am. <laughs> really. Are you okay? Who are you? What do you think? Uh, sorry, I, I didn't see any blood, so I, I thought you were okay. You're a puppet. My motor is broken. I can't move. Are Bruh. you a cloud knight? Good. Take me to the realm keeping commission. I, uh, Locha, silent but deadly. I'm afraid we have to delay things again. This lady is one of the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. As a Cloud Knight, I must prioritize her order. I'm sorry. If I'd known, I wouldn't have got you to come with me. You'd probably be there by now if you'd gone by yourself. I happen um, to have some okay. medical knowledge. Perhaps I can treat the young lady's injuries? Well, it's just... She's a puppet. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should just <laughs> do take her to the to do. Don't worry, Miss Sushang. Leave it to me. Okay. You might get an aching or numbing sensation, but it shouldn't be too painful. Do you think you can hold still? Damn, bro. This uh pretty cool. My body is mechanical, not flesh and blood. Be it mechanical or organic, we're still dealing with composite substances. I just hope you'll tolerate my methods. What? Oh, curious. How? What kind of medical knowledge is this? Very good. We uh, need to return to the Realm Keeping Commission. The mission continues. As a judge in the employ of the Ten Lords Commission, I am forbidden from interfering in the affairs of outsiders. However, seeing as you came to my aid, a word of advice leave as soon as possible i came to address the root of our crisis by arresting a fugitive a stellaron hunter this villain possesses exceptional swordsmanship and wields a divine weapon they are extremely dangerous it's blade 
If it hadn't been for a strange accident, my wake span might have been cut short. A strange <laughs> accident? Oh, this character has a playable <laughs> Imagine, bro. This robot. Huh. Random Come ass robot me. here. I don't know. She looks like a, a character you would play as, but I don't know. <laughs> doesn't look like other NPCs. That's the thing. I've never seen anything like it. What? Destruction. Meanwhile, in the definition. You know, even eons can be killed. Uh, so, you plan uh, so your plan is to kill an eon. Killing an eon, humans don't have that power. How could an eon possibly be killed? This <laughs> Are you kidding? That's not what we want. I just want to tell stories from the past. Stories about eons that have fallen. Lon the Permanence, Drilla the Beauty, Dana the Order, Tazeronth the Propagation, Activilli the Trailblaze. Hmm? Okay. These names were once known all over the universe. Now they've all but disappeared, leaving behind only masterless paths. And currently, there are three ways an eon can perish known to humanity. Uh, what? Well, well. One, paths with overlapping concepts will eventually collide. And the broader path will engulf the narrower one. That's how Anna the Order was assimilated by Shipe the Harmony. Two, in a war hey. between eons, the stronger side will annihilate the weaker one. That's how Tazeronth the propagation fell. Under the guidance of the hunt, the Sienjo Alliance travels the universe exterminating abominations cultivated by the abundance. Hey, who are they? <laughs> Got Kokolia, right? She was uh, for the preservation, right? That's what it was? Or, I, well, no, not really. That's, uh, I, no, it was that one thing in the, in the, in the dream we had, right? I was so, in that one dream we had during the Kokolia fight. There was that thing. Was that an eon? Right? I don't remember. That was a while ago. Why does the Zinshro want to kill the Abundance? As far as I know, the predecessors of the Alliance were the Elixir Seekers. They searched for Yaosher and longed for the blessing of immortality. When they eventually found the eon, they received the blessing that did indeed prevent death. The Ambrosial Arbor. But immortality okay. turned out to be a curse for the Sienjo. That's when the hunt appeared, firing an arrow and felling the Ambrosial Arbor. Ever since, the Alliance has followed the hunt in pursuit of Yaosha, tracing the curse of immortality from the universe along the way. What do you think? Fascinating stories, no? <laughs> yes, They're I They're the know. kind of stories that folks on the straight and narrow would never tell you oh uh, what about the third way hold on any minute now what? Begun. What, what are you what are you talking about kafka what tree <laughs> the, the tree's doing what the fuck the tree is kafka broke free kafka pretty thick though but like bro what the fuck blade let's go blady you have more places to visit dude the fuck? Did Kafka escape? Were, were you even paying attention? What do you mean, did she escape? Uh, you, she, she escaped right in front of you. Did she escape, bro? It's not a question. We won't have to explain anything. Yo, we're speaking? Hey, did she brainwash you? No. <laughs> okay, where are we going? Um, we gotta go all the way over there. Okay. Good thing we can use uh, this thing that's right here. Conveniently. Uh, level 34, hold up. Let me just, uh, let me just claim all of this stuff. And you know what? Since I got that, I'm trying to get, uh, Don Hung's, like, light cones. I'm just, uh, just gonna warp on this. Cause why not? Nope. Nothing. Okay. Okay, again. Let's see. Nope. And then the last time. Come on. Oh, okay. Okay, I got a four-star light cone, which is, uh, is this fucking Zila? Or no? Not Zila, what, what am I saying? It's uh so so all right, Saval and Japard? Yeah, Landau. <laughs> Saval and Japard. Okay. I got a four star light cone. Great. Whatever. Let me just claim all of this stuff. And I think that's it. Right? Um yeah. Okay. Go to the store. I don't have enough for that. The, this one's here, but I don't really want to do that. 
Should I actually? Uh, why not? I don't have any pity in in the in the standard banner because I already got a five star. <sighs> the more I pull, the closer I get to getting the the free five star because you can get a free five star the more you pull. Um, I got nothing from any of those, but let me see. Right here. God, I'm only at 86. I want to get freaking him. Either him or no. She Rona is not really that good. I want him. That that's what I want. But I'm at 86. I need 300. How have people already pulled 300 times in this game? Like my God, bro. <laughs> Seriously. But whatever. Uh, let's head up. Uh, to where? I have Pale on my team. Why do I have Pale on my team? Oh, Ting Yun. Fuck are you Wasn't doing here, Ting Yun? Ching Shui showed us earlier. Oh, amazing! Absolutely amazing. Uh, long lived might not witness something like this in their lifetime. I'm so lucky. Ting Yun's crazy. Maybe someone applied Such the strong extraordinary what? energy. It's the Stellaron. Mr. Yang, do you mean the Stellaron is making the Ambrosial Arbor grow? I feel like Ting Yun's the yes. Stellaron. The Stellaron the Cloud Knights are searching for must be causing this anomaly. But I don't know. So yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's head up over to here. It's locked. How the fuck do I get over there? How the fuck do I get over? God, I have to go through over here. God damn it, dude. Yeah, whatever. Let's head over there. We made it. Unless Kafka deceived the Matrix of Prescience. Stay calm, Diviner Fool. The Matrix of Prescience does not lie. The logic you have laid out concerning Kafka makes sense. It has helped me to fill in another piece of the puzzle. I agree there is a hostile external force huh. at work on the Law Fool. Yeah. The Stellaron didn't appear out of thin air. Someone managed to sneak it onto the ship. As for the culprits behind the Law Fool's internal strife, I believe we are dealing with the so-called Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, that shadowy organization of the denizens of abundance. Kafka's revelations confirm my suspicions. You... General, when did you have these suspicions? The moment the planter of the Stellaron revealed itself. The Sienjo has the blessing of the Rainbow Arbiter, and only another Eon Emanator would be capable of sneaking onto this ship without my knowing. Who's the planter of we the are Stellaron? With an external threat. Who's that? The Stellaron corrosion continues to flood into the ship, and yet it bypassed both the seat of divine foresight and the shackling <laughs> prison. There is forethought here. Our enemy must have had access to Lafu intelligence for things to unfold in this way. It is evident now. The Stellaron yes. hunters aren't the ones behind the curtain. No. As soon as I set eyes on Blade. It was clear to me. But why is he here? And why did he draw the Astral Express? That piece of the puzzle still eludes me. Um. Nonetheless, Lady Fu, your intel means the puzzle is more complete than it was before. <laughs> These Stellaron hunters are a captivating group. Such lengths to get yeah. the Sienjo and the Express onto the same track. Who would have believed it? General, we must retain all urgency. The Ambrosial Arbor. It's the Stellaron. No need to search high and low. The traitors have planted it in the Ambrosial Arbor's delve, thereby causing the tree to grow once again. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus couldn't hold off any longer. Every crisis is a turning point. Uh, you Problem keep talking about the Stellaron, you know but who is the Stellaron? My God, bro. Am I coming up with a plan again? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I'm sure you have a countermeasure at the ready, Master Diviner. Yes. From my perspective, convening the Cloud Knights is our immediate priority. We must head into the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor, expel the Stellaron spirits, and prevent the Arbor's resurrection. Yes. As ever, the Master Diviner's Omnisha provides for the fastest solution. However, mm. sometimes speed is not everything. I have known the Stellaron's location for a while now. So why have I held back our forces? Who is the Stellaron? General? Well? You're a scoundrel. <laughs> Pulling up the grass requires okay. removing the roots. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus have chosen to make their move now. Which means the Cloud Knights have the situation under control and the traitors have run out of patience. You've been sitting on that this whole time? How will you justify the losses if something goes wrong, General? Please, Lady Fu. I still have forces to deploy. 
We Yo. were in need of extra hands, and the Stellaron hunters were kind enough to bring us together with the Astral Express. How could I look the other way? Uh, okay. He didn't read the entire thing. We were in need of extra hands. The Stellaron hunters were kind enough to bring us the Astral Express. No need to thank me. Bro said the bro, bro said a wrong line. Bro said a different line. What the fuck? Listen up. We've got a situation. Let me guess. More errands? Listen up. We got a situation. That massive tree has suddenly sprung to life. Yes. It's my fault. I had higher expectations of the general. <laughs> Please. We can't keep getting them to do everything for us. Since when did we run out of people on the law Fu? You. Why are you staring at me? Do I need to remind you, General, that the Ambrosial Arbor's access point is a closely guarded secret? How an outworlders would be. A violation of the rules and regulations. I would like to remind you, Lady Fu. As such, I am about to make a decision that runs counter to those rules and regulations. Oh, uh, decisions plural. What a rare pleasure. Mm -hmm. Fu, I hereby issue you with the military tally. The Cloud Knights will be under your control. You will act in concert with the other forces in the approach to the Ambrosial Arbor through the Alchemy Commission Dell. Under... my control? You've been eager to discover for yourself what it is huh. to be a general, have you not? Yeah. <laughs> You've never given me the opportunity and now suddenly understood. Okay. For our astral friends, I hereby formally welcome you all to join our operation to seal the Stellaron. Yes. Let's Lady do that. Fu will deploy the Cloud Knights, but I would like you to set off in advance. Take a shortcut through the Artisanship Commission and convene with Lady Fu further down the line. Orders received, General. Errands received, General. This is no errand, <laughs> I am merely stating what needs to be done should you wish to help us. You've never really seen us as outsiders, huh? Miss Tingyun, I would like you to continue to serve as a guide for our astral friends. Oh, of course, General. I am duty bound. I, I still don't trust Ting Yun. Ting Yun has never been trustworthy. The moment I she entered the frame, no, no distance hence. The hexagram was right. The ambrosial arbor was felled thousands of years ago. Now it returns to life. The future of the Xian Zhou is difficult to define. Um. Uh. Um. I want to chat with others as well. Okay. Actually. A no. step forward bridges no. I'll just continue with that. The ambrosial arbor. I'm sorry, Kafka escaped. I had long anticipated it. Huh? Pursuing Kafka is a waste of time um, and effort. It's just this he one. He really is a delegator at heart, isn't he? <laughs> there isn't much distance between the artisanship and alchemy commissions. I'm afraid the former is likely also facing imminent catastrophe. The star skiff is ready. I will lead the way. Okay, let's go. Let's hop aboard the scar skiff. Why'd you stop? What are you doing? Bro, my god. This, at least this NPC is more freaking better than Genshin's, you know? Because they just so stop All if you them. stop following them. This person actually ran back for me, even though I was already in front wait, of them. Wait. So, Can you you know. divine our fortunes for us? Is there anything we need to watch out for? No need. My Omnisha has seen that your journey will be auspicious. Everything will proceed smoothly. I better. Are you sure? You don't need to use a crazy device or do more finger counting? I'm sure it's nothing we can't manage. Let's well go. Well said. Thank you for your assurance, Master Diviner. Welt has just disappeared. He sees nowhere to be seen anymore. Um, okay, we gotta go... I'm on the wrong side. God damn it, bro. Um, yeah. Okay, we gotta hop on top of the scar skiff. Don't know where we're going, though. Well, like, I, I feel like we're getting farther and farther away from Don Hung, so yeah, that's kind of enough. Like, bro. <laughs> Look at all the people gathered here. Not a good day for commuting on the La Fu. The Artisanship Commission Delve should have suspended operations after the Stellaron corrosion began. Uh -huh. Why haven't these people taken Star's gifts to safety? Maybe the Artisanship Commission are just more dedicated to their work? The Divination Commission's diviners aren't exactly a hard act to follow. At the end of the day, it is work. You need it to live. Arch, adults forget what relaxation means after a certain age. <laughs> Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Speaking from the heart, that's all. The path of trailblaze doesn't seem to allow for any relaxation either. <laughs> I think they call that complaining from
from the heart. Are any of the paths in this world easy to tread? The Artisanship Commission is full of workshops, building state-of-the-art mechanisms, and craftsmen designing brand new concepts. Okay. Periodically stirring up trouble is part of their tradition. Tire buildings vanishing into thin air, puppet riots. You get the picture. It seems like the craftsmen are too afraid to go in. Them fucking foxians, dude. to run to either. <laughs> we should take care, benefactors. Something terrible must have happened. Nah, Either something way, good we'll must have, have happened. Let's ask around first. How about let's not do that? I got more music. Cool. Let's head back. Let's head up there. Where are we going? We're heading there. Wherever that is. The gate is closed. That's like the metal. F the metals from which it was forged. It um, emanates a cold indifference. Uh, another locked gate. Time for the old dilemma. Break in or climb over. Um. We can easily climb over that, though. A warm <laughs> reminder, benefactor. If we all step sat on top of each other. The artisanship commission is as important to the Sanjo as the divination commission. Okay. Our law states that trespassing into the artisanship commission can result in a prison sentence of between three hundred to five hundred years. What the fuck? Serious violations may result in exile on a barren planet, thousands of light years away. The fuck? 300 to 500 years? We don't even live that long. It's law-breaking time. Are you gonna be this enthusiastic when it's jail sentencing time? <laughs> I'm not trying to scare you. I'm simply suggesting you ask the craftsmen to see if they can provide an insider like Ching Chu to guide you. It seems more than a little reckless to charge in. Now where'd Ching Chu go? Ahead of us. Where'd she go? She disappeared. I don't fucking you know. Um, yeah, I need to get this thing. I don't know what that thing is, but we go back down here and uh, who do I talk to? You're an apprentice. You're an apprentice. You're an apprentice. You're an apprentice. The fuck am I supposed to do? Talk to any of these apprentices? I can't talk to you, but I, I guess I just talk to all of these apprentices. Talk to your apprentice. Master Gong Shu, are you guys Cloud Knights? Are you here to save us? Your clothes. I knew I was getting ahead of myself. You're just tourists. We're sorry not tourists, came during your bro. Trip. I'm sorry it came at all. Worry no more. The cl the knight in shining armor is here to rest. Fret not. I'm the cavalry the general sent for. Uh, they there comes a time when uh, we all feel sorry. Yeah, you just need to tell us what the trouble is. General Jing Yuan pulled out all the stops to get us here. You can trust us. You mean the general invited you? Is that a joke? The law who has the Cloud Knights, why would he send outsiders? There's been a serious incident in the Artisanship Commission. Nobody's in the mood for jokes, Miss. You misunderstand, young sir. We genuinely want to help. Can you tell us what happened here? You should leave. Yeah. The worst thing is, my master is still inside. Master Gong Shu is the most experienced craftsman in the Artisanship Commission smelting works. He's in charge of our research project. Gong Shu. When the incident okay. happened. He dragged me, Ziming, and Yuncha to safety. But then he turned around and ran back in. I need to wait here for the Cloud Knight so I can tell them to rescue him. Why did he run back in? To save his research data. Is research data more <laughs> important than life? Probably. I just heard him shout, It's gone. We lost the furnace. By the time we realized, he'd already vanished. Anyway. You said you're here to help us, right? Yes. 100% the general sent us. Uh, you don't have to believe us. The Astral Express doesn't shout about its achievements. We'll look for your master. In that case, take this Jade Seal with you. If you find my master, please bring him out safe and sound. If anything happens to him... Don't worry, young okay. sir. Okay. Your master's safety is our... Is our None what? None of us would be able to graduate this year. Let's go. I think this conversation's run its course. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, we got what we need. So, let's head back in. And there's also still none of those purple things to break. Okay, let's open the door. We are inside now. Now, what's in here? This fire. The Stellaron facilitated the resurrection of the Ambrosial Arbor. The severity of the corrosion becomes worse as it grows. Uh huh. Look, the roots are coming up through the ground. I'm afraid we've got some gardening work to do. 
<laughs> Dude, shut up. Okay, where are we going now? We gotta head over to here and defeat these guys, I assume. Is this the master they're talking about? Fucking guy is goofy. Okay, um... We don't have any of... I only have this. That can... Okay. Um... Use... Oh, there we go. And use the ult. Okay. We're still talking. Why, why are you still talking? Stop talking already. My god, dude. Um, let's use that. Let's enhance. I can't enhance anymore. Okay. Let's use on you. And bro's dead. Okay. We got three guys left. Attack you. Attack you. I should attack the center. I don't know why I attacked that. Well, this guy's the last one. So I just go do that. There you go. I won. Golden Cloud Toad. Illumination Dragonfish. Are you alright? Wake up. I raised you like my own flesh and blood. Did you really have to destroy my little friends? I want compensation. You didn't want to listen to us. No. You were here to rescue you and you started a fight for no reason. Are you Master Gongshu? Uh, how do you know my name, child? Does the reputation of Gongshu Liang, the smelter extraordinaire, proceed one? No, you're just a random NPC, uh, so this guy's not really. <laughs> pretty deluded for a master. We're passing through on our way to the Alchemy Commission at the behest of General Jing Yuan and Diviner Fu. We'd like you to show us the way, Master Gongshu. <gasps> really? The general sent you? Then this must be a mere misunderstanding. <laughs> Uh, don't worry about those <laughs> things. Easy to fix. But there's not much I can do to help. The artisanship commission was suddenly taken over by some evil tree demon. It seized our most evil precious tree demon possession. The creation furnace. The dark and powerful entity. The robots. It was like they gained consciousness. They were moving in a circle around it. I fear approaching it is tantamount to suicide. But then, I couldn't just run away. Knowing what lies sealed in the furnace. We're short on time. Uh, where are you? Where are we going? Who are we going to fight? One good turn deserves another. I think I know where this is going. This one. <laughs> I'm sure General Jing Yuan must have believed wholeheartedly that you could save the Artisanship Commission from this crisis. Yes. Things I know of may yet serve your fight. Pray you in repayment, aid my plight. <laughs> Come on, through here. Okay. Um, cool. Let me, let me come over here real quick and uh, claim that and open up this because it's saying, it's saying this right here. Uh, okay. I got more, more uh, achievements and stuff or more quests to do. Venom bruised and fired. Hit the streets of Scarcity of Haven and talk to Tanton. What's that? There's a lot here. Holy Jesus. Um, Everwinter City Museum. Then all of this stuff. Then there's all of this other stuff right here. Oh, good stuff. And then fired. Okay. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end today's video here. Next video, I feel like something will happen. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. No. Uh, uh, run away. Run away. Run away. Hey guys, I feel like next video something is going to happen. So yeah, either way, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave a like and no, of course, subscribe if you haven't already. And comment down below stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out and bye-bye.